Hi, I'm Chris Sanders. This is my wife, Amy, and my daughter, Kaylee. Um, we are going to talk about a fundraising effort that we're doing for uh, the JDRF, and we're going to let Kaylee talk a little bit more about that. So uh, I actually have two daughters that are type 1 diabetic. They were both diagnosed at the age of 8 and have been living with type 1 since since then, <clears throat> and it's life-changing. Uh, it is a challenging disease to manage and to live with. And today we're talking about something really, really hard that Kaylee's gonna be doing that we would love to get your support for. So uh, we'll hear her story and why she's doing this and uh, look forward to your support. Yeah, so I'm gonna say what we're doing because it's very exciting. <laughs> so we're all running a marathon. This is Kaylee's first marathon, she's gonna talk yeah. about it. But it is for the cause of um, type 1 diabetes to find a cure. So we want Kaylee to speak a little bit about what it's been like and what what we're doing. Um, so my name's Kaylee, as you guys know. Um, I was diagnosed when I was eight. I'm now 19 years old, so I've had it for about 11 years now. And I will say it's definitely not easy. It's an everyday challenge, something you have to think about throughout all hours of the day, constantly checking your blood, like giving yourself insulin, like watching how much you eat of certain things to make sure that you're not getting too high or too low. And just monitoring it all day is really hard. And if you do get high or you do get low, like you, there are symptoms that come with both and it makes it really hard to do certain things sometimes throughout the day because you have those challenges. And um, I found out that JDRF was doing a fundraiser to find a cure. So I was obviously already interested in what that could bring. And so on top of that, they were doing a marathon. So I figured I might as well put myself to the challenge. I've only ever ran a half marathon before. So this is all new territory to me. And that was literally like two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my dad was like, you should just do it. You should just do it. And I was like, you know what? I might as well like challenge myself. So I'm, learning a lot right now, even more about diabetes with myself and training and all that stuff that I never would have understood before. So it's amazing and it's hard and it's definitely <laughs> not easy. <laughs> even being a diabetic though, it's like to train for a marathon, she has to totally plan and do things totally different than us who don't struggle with that. So it's, it's incredible what she's doing and we're so excited for just this venture, but also, uh, her life is hard. There's so many people I know that you guys are watching this, you know someone or you might be diabetic. So we would love to have your support. You can donate below, uh, click the link and help us. We have a goal, is it 10 grand? Our goal is 10, 10 grand. $10, yep, $10,000. <laughs> so every dollar counts, even if it's $1 or $5, everything counts and we are totally just like motivated to help find a cure so that Kaylee and a bunch of other people can live a life that's not not so hard not so hard yeah not hooked up to wires all day long <laughs> and constantly changing sides and pricking yourself and all the fun stuff so. yeah. and the reality is the number of people uh, in the world that run a marathon is, is less than 1% uh, throughout the world and if you factor in the number of people that are type 1 diabetic that have run a marathon, that, that puts Kaylee in very, very elite numbers, uh, assuming she finishes. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> so mean. She, <laughs> she no, we, we know she will finish. She's, she's actually doing really, really well with her training. Um, I've been super impressed with her. Uh, but this is, this is very, very difficult. And it's, as a parent, to see your kid Gosh, I'm not supposed to get emotional. <laughs> um, to see your kids struggle uh, just to have a normal life, uh, like we're really lucky that there are the tools in place today to manage diabetes with glucose monitors and, and the insulin. Uh, if you didn't know Kaylee was type one, like and you just saw her on the street or walking you know, in the mall or something, you would never know she's diabetic. Um, the tools have come that far that she can pretty much live a what appears on the outside to be a normal life. And JDRF was a, has been a huge part of uh, that success and, and getting the right tools in uh, people like Kaylee's hands so they can be more normal. And there's still a lot of work to do. 
There's amazing uh, breakthroughs and discoveries that they are bringing to uh, the public that are going through FDA approval. And ultimately, uh, they will end up essentially curing type 1 diabetes. But we need to do your that, help. we need your help. So <laughs> yeah. Kaylee is doing something really, really, really hard. And we would really appreciate your, your donation, no matter how big or how small. It will go to help Kaylee and thousands and thousands of other people have a much more normal life. So uh, thank you in advance. Uh, find the link to donate. And, and we really, really appreciate your support. And also follow along in this journey. Uh, <laughs> come see how, how Kaylee does, how she finishes her marathon, and, and how well she performs. Um, With diabetes. I definitely know it. Sorry for cutting off. Definitely know it will not be easy because with training, I've had to eat lots more sugar, sometimes even take breaks during my run to make sure my sugar goes back up when I haven't been able to prevent it from getting low. So that'll be an interesting thing to track along because I've obviously never done this, so. Yeah. You're doing awesome. She's doing so good. Yep. So we look forward to your support and we will talk to you again soon.